Well, hello, Coffee Time friends. How y'all doing? It's Labor Day. Happy Labor Day, everybody. If you aren't watching us, count on over to Facebook, to Coffee Time with John and Mama, and like us, follow us, and share us. Let's talk. Let's talk. A Labor Day deliciousness. <coughs> Maggie just heard that we were on video, and she started barking. Y'all noticed how she started that new trend? I think she's getting some bad habits. All right, so what I'm going to do, starting not with the star of the show, which is the ribs. I started those at 10.30 this morning. Put them in the crock pot. I put the ribs in the crock pot. I stripped that silver lining off the inside of them. That's a good thing to do. You just get that little, it's like a little membrane. You just strip it all the way off the inside. Once you start it with it, you'll see it'll just pull I'm right off. Pull it right off while you're talking. Okay. She was fine until we started. It's a new thing. Um, so I just stripped that off, and then I put them in the crock pot, and I put a 20 ounce Dr. Pepper in there. I put a little bit of coffee, about 16 ounces, uh, just a cup. I just filled the cup up and poured it in there. And then I put a little bit of barbecue rub on there that we use, like a little bit of nature season, a little bit of smoked paprika, uh, salt, pepper. Uh, you can put any kind of your favorite barbecue rub on there, and we have something we call with steak and pork rub, and it tastes good with with uh, ribs. ribs. <laughs> so I put it on there, uh, and I just let it simmer all day. And I didn't put any barbecue sauce, didn't put any brown sugar. Let it simmer for about four hours. So for the last hour, I put me some brown sugar in there, and I put Sweet Baby Ray's in there, and I'm going to add a little bit more, but it has been cooking in Sweet Baby Ray's, and brown sugar for the last hour so that's going to get all in there and that's it that's all you do to it and it's absolutely delicious so mama's going to make macaroni and cheese yeah and i'm going to put that water on to get hot right now i'm going to cook it in the kettle because i'm going to add cheese and cream in there okay so she's going to cook this in the kettle the old-fashioned way because that's right so she's going to add cream which is what you all know evaporated milk and uh, she's going to add two or three kinds of cheeses. And it's going to be delicious. And I can't wait because she's going to make the creamy, cheesy version today. We don't have macaroni and cheese often because, you know, it's full of starch and cheese. And you don't need that often. But every once in a while, it don't hurt. Into this kettle here, I'm going to add, show you what I'm doing. So into this kettle, I'm going to add two cans of pork and beans. These are Van Camp pork and beans. And I'm just going to add them right in there. Now this is going to be stovetop baked beans. You've seen us do these before, if you've watched us any, because this is the way we do them every time. The only way we ever bake beans in the oven is we will start them out just like this, put them in a kill, then we spray a 9 by 13 baking dish if we're going to go somewhere with them. And once they're done on the stove top, we'll put them in the oven. We'll sprinkle baking crumbs on top and let that brown. And we'll put them in there for about 15 or 20 minutes at the end just to let them finish off so they'll look good in the pan. But when we're eating them here, this is it. It's right on top of the stove. And that's it. Two cans of pork and beans. Emptied out. Into the pork and beans, I'm going to add, this is just a dime-sized dollop of mustard, yellow mustard. And that's just to give it a little something, something. something, something. I'm going to put a little bit of Worcestershire sauce in them. This is just some plain old Worcestershire sauce. One, two, about a half a teaspoon is all it got. Then I'm going to add some just regular bottled ketchup. And I'm going to put about... A fourth of a cup of ketchup and I'll be able to tell what this looks like by its the way it, I'll, I'll be able to tell by eye I'm cooking by eye Take it this is just brown sugar and I'm going to try to give you a measurement a fourth of a cup of brown sugar put my sugar bear back in there if y'all don't have these they get Help keep your um, brown sugar from clumping. Just a sugar bear. You can get them on Amazon. Now, I'm going to set that over here, and then I'm going to come over here, and I'm going to 
that fix this up some onion. I'm just going to mince up some pretty fine here and uh, talk to y'all while I do that. When Mama gets ready to put the macaroni and cheese together, we're going to show. She's going to show us that right now. She's boiling water, butter, and salt. And when we do macaroni and cheese, we start out with boiling water, butter, salt, and we do not drain our macaroni. So you don't want to start out with a lot of water, just enough to cover your noodles, because we keep that because you get tons of flavor in there when you first start cooking it. So we don't uh, cook. We, whatever you add to your noodle water, whether it's spaghetti, any kind of pasta you're fixing, whatever you add to that water, that's your only chance to get flavor in those noodles. You can't really flavor a noodle once you get it out on the board or out in the bowl. You can add flavors for sure, but to flavor the noodle itself, it has to cook into it and the water be drawn up into it. So we flavor our salt with salt and pepper. You gonna put pepper in the water, Mama? Uh, not now. Not now. So she don't put pepper in hers. And then she will put um, probably a half a stick of butter for the noodles. And those noodles will taste delicious. I eat Mama's leftover noodles like if she don't use it all for mac and cheese. I don't care a bit to eat just the noodles because they're so good because you have that salt and butter flavor in the noodles. So it's sort of a little special taste of the noodles. Alright, now, I'm just mincing up. This is a sweet onion. It's a, they call it candied onion. Uh, it's just a name. I got this at the farmer's market. I wouldn't buy them for the difference of a Vidalia. I think they're very similar to a Vidalia. Um, I guess I like Vidalia the best of any onion there is. Um, but this is a good sweet onion. And then it's going to go in here, and it's earlier than we're normally. It's 520, so we're about an hour earlier than our normal nightly meals. But uh, I'm not going to put a ton of onion because Mama don't like onion. Now this is just going to be enough to flavor these um, beans up a little bit. Y'all know that we don't use a lot of onion light because of that. So what are y'all doing for Labor Day? Yvonne, thank you for those stars. Y'all are so kind. Uh, happy Labor Day from Ohio. Hey, Sharon. What have you done? Today's supposed to be a day of rest. Most people, or what we do, we use it as a day of catching up. <laughs> we have worked around here a little bit. Mama wanted to get some wreaths designing done here in the kitchen. She's moved stuff around a little bit that she's been wanting to move around. We've cleaned and carried on. But this is Mama's normal fall preparation. We do spring cleaning, we do summer cleaning, we do fall and winter cleaning. Before every, before Christmas, it gets clean for the holidays. Um, then, well, before Thanksgiving, it gets clean for the holidays. So good. We clean every week, but I'm talking about you know, when you take stuff out of the cabinets and you wash it down and you get all the build up grease and a whole full fledged spring cleaning goes on. And uh, mama don't play with stuff like that. And uh, trust me, you don't either if you're here because mama will put you to work. And uh, so we've been working today around. Mama, do you need me to reach something? I can't find the cheesekeeper. The big cheesekeeper? Huh. In the dishwasher, I bet. Okay. Um, because we use it. It can't be far. Um So you're the one. I didn't do I know I ain't guilty because I keep it in the dishwasher or in the refrigerator. <laughs> now I'm cooking by eye and I can tell you right now this is gonna need a little bit more ketchup. Uh because the beans don't look is the color I want. So I'm going to put, I put about a fourth of a cup. I'm going to put about half that again. I think I had a hair. Put about half that much ketchup again and see if I get the color that I know that my baked beans should look like. 
There it is. And when they get hotter, they will change colors a little bit more. So I'm going to put just a dash dash of salt just to bring out the flavors of everything. Not a lot. All right, Mama. Check me up here. I will. Um, check me up here. I've got onion. I've got mustard. Just a dollop. i got ketchup. Put a little bit of Worcestershire in um, two cans of beans. Anything I left out? Oh. Yes, I did. Mama says, are you kidding? You left out the most important part. You left, you got through the mustard? Yes, ma'am. So I've left out the the uh, maple syrup. We just use pancake syrup, folks. And I'm going to show you about how much we put in there. This gives them that rich maple flavor. You can put molasses. That's about a tablespoon, and that's about two tablespoons of just pancake syrup. If you're afraid of trying that, yeah, I guess... I've got to get some fresh molasses this year. Molasses. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Well, I'm sure they'll be making them. We have families here that make them. There. Mama, that was just the extra color it needed. Two tablespoons of pancake syrup in these baked beans. Is this the spoon you're using? No. Okay. Nope, I hadn't used that one. And there they are, folks. Now we're just going to put these over here on the stove top and let them cook a minute. Mama, you come over here and sing and dance. I'll and I'm going to go there and get the your stuff. stuff. Oh, you're going to get that. You come over here and sing and dance. Come over here and sing and dance. I ain't singing or dancing. <laughs> I might come over here and clean a little bit, but I'm not going to sing or dance. You got to sing and dance, Mama. Yeah. You want the large one? Yeah. Okay. Is the other one up there, too? The small one? Yeah. Okay, give me both, because I've got this five-pound box of cheese. See, I used all of that I had, and I've opened up this. Here, you can show them these. And I'm going to go and check on 